So I'm Virginie Pascon. Uh, just a question. Who knows Pago BI? Please. Okay, that's a good, yeah, good statistics. Okay, good. So uh, we provide business intelligence. I'm the sales engineer of Spago BI Labs, and today I'm gonna tell you not the same story of the last year, and but what is important in the business intelligence domain provide the right information in the right time to the right people, okay? And to give a good answer to that things, Spago BI provide some <laughs> interesting domains. Uh, the ready to use domain, uh, the, if you want, um, we can think about the ready to use domain as the traditional BI. The build by yourself, so if you are um, users without technical background, you can realize analysis also without the uh, IT support if you want, okay? The explorative analysis, so there you cannot, uh, if you want, create analysis, but you are searching data that you are interesting for you. Huh? And the last one, if you want, is the sex sexy things. Uh, you can create very powerful analysis over, uh, for example, location intelligence, but we are gonna uh, show you uh, all that things we are gonna discover together. So, uh, a little focus about the ready-to-use domain. The ready-to-use domain, oh, wow. Uh, think about that I'm a final user, okay? I'm gonna uh, access to Spago BI and Okay, what can I say? I can just execute a, an analysis and enjoy the show. So, uh, we can switch from the classical domain as the reporting one from the chart also. Uh, and I'm pretty happy to say that um, uh, we, we, we have a wide range of uh, type of chart. Also, a very high complexity also to uh, visualize data that come from big data sources. Um, the interactive cockpit to create a, a very large number of interaction through the element that compose the, the cockpit and different user experience. Of course, the KPI, but also the mobile, as you can say at the end of this slide. The interesting things, if you want, is that, okay, I want to take and bring decision, but it's perhaps pretty uh, good also to take decision everywhere. Hmm? But I want to switch. Uh, I want to, I'm the end user, I take decision everywhere, but I want also create analysis. Um, the older version of Spago BI, actually we are at the fifth series of Spago BI. Uh, there was the ad hoc reporting, so a very useful uh, tool as the worksheet that permit to the end user to create very simple and quick analysis that come from different data sets. And this is a service BI, uh, not only classical data set that come from, for example, for a query, but I can upload directly inside the server uh, my personal data as uh, an Excel or a CSV or, or, uh, or a text. But the very <laughs> last innovation in the, our last series of Spago BI is the in-memory cockpit. So now also the end user can build something like that, a very uh, pre deal that can feel uh, with the paradigm of the uh, whiteboard that permit not only uh, with associative logic to create uh, interaction through the uh, element inside the cockpit, but also permit the data mesh up. So you can, at the application level, uh, create the federation of different data sets. And uh, I switch directly to the explorative analysis. I told you just previously that now I cannot, I don't create analysis, but I'm searching analysis. Um, I'm very proud to say that in Spago BI, we have a visual uh, tool for the visual inquiring, very, very powerful. Uh, you can with drag and drop create query, also uh, a very complex level. And 
also for those that don't have a technical background, it's pretty easy to uh, reach uh, raw data and after that create different analyses. But the, if you want the innovation in this kind of, uh, in the last version of Spago BI is the, um, the client for the uh, OLAP analysis. As you can see, we have oh, uh, just a, a, a little introduction. Um, previously, there was JP, so an older uh, look and feel. And now we have something that uh, it's very easy to use. There's something with a look and feel that it's a little bit more better. And of course, it's a full drag and drop. You can swap the dimension, uh, filtering very easily uh, every kind of measures, and of course, you can uh, do the classical operation that you can do over a cube as you slice these dice and, for example, the drill tool, the drill down and so on. But we arrive at the end of the sexy things as the advanced analysis. Uh, very interesting things that I want to say is that Spago BI provide, as always, also in the older version, um, advanced tools for the location intelligence, uh, for the analysis uh, for the data in real time, and for the network analysis. But the last, uh, sorry, the first uh, innovation is the what if analysis. So I switch directly from a performance management, as in the traditional BI, so I measure what I've done so far, uh, I switch to the predictive analysis, okay? So I look in the future. The things that I can do now, it's change the value of a model. For example, it's, it could be very useful for the, um, the budget scenario and uh, if I want to understand how to distribute my budget over the different department in my organization. I can uh, use a meta language to change the value inside my model and, for example, make a comparison with different scenario and after that take better decision and share this kind of model with other users. And, of course, uh, with, the, uh, with the help and the support of different uh, algorithms for the propagation uh, through the son and fathers of uh, my entire cube. And as you can see, is based, this what if analysis uh, is based on the completely renewed interface for the OLAP cube. And the second one is the data mining. Finally, we integrate R. Okay, uh, as you can see in the, during the last year, um, a profile as the data scientist emerge more and more. So to improve the result of, ana of analysis that come from also big data or different kind of sources, you can represent data through uh, data visualization uh, even more uh, complex and perhaps uh, the right tool to represent um, data a little bit more complex and to interpret phenomena. And the last one, and I'm very happy to present it, it's the social listening. We are the only one that provide the social listening in the BI open source. And finally, as you can see in, the, in this last slide, um, it's the screenshot about the, the monitoring of the Spago BI tags in our uh, campaign, ca marketing campaign to, to the launch of the fifth version of Spago BI. And this is very interesting because now finally we can evaluate in the impact, uh, the sentiment analysis, um, understand the text and data mining and get inside about. And for example, uh, for Spago BI, uh, we're monitoring the tag, the hashtag uh, that come from Twitter and it was uh, pretty interesting to see the results and it could be uh, a very good base to, to bring more and more decision. Mm? So, we are at the end. I, I suppose that I can win uh, uh, 
<laughs> a candy because I, I was very, very fast. But, <laughs> but no problem. Okay, so uh, thank you uh, again. And this is my contacts. Uh, please uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, any questions. And thank you again. Bye.